fifth a part show that one by a theta minus one by a theta square plus one by a theta cube minus one by a theta four is zero. Here we will use the concept iota square is minus one. We will use the concept iota square is a minus one. LHS one by a theta minus one by a theta square plus one by a theta cube. Minus one by a theta four. One by a theta minus one by a theta square is minus one plus one by a theta cube can be written as a theta square into a theta minus one by a theta four can be written as a theta square into square. One by a theta a theta square put minus one a theta square put minus one a theta square put a minus one. So one by a theta plus one. Here we will get by solving minus one by a theta minus minus one square is plus one. That it is minus one. So plus one by a theta minus one by a theta plus one minus one. We can cancel. We will get a zero. Now it's B part. Next is fifth B. Find the value of limit. X approaches plus two, x cube minus eight over x minus two. So first directly put the value given is limit x cube minus eight by x minus x minus two. Limit is x approaches plus two. Directly put the value. You will get two cube minus eight two minus one, which will come out to be zero by zero. Therefore, indeterminate. So transpose this two, we'll get x minus two. Divide numerator and denominator by x minus two. Numerator is x cube minus eight divided by x minus two. First dividing factor will come out to be x square. So we will get x cube minus 2x square. We will get 2x square minus 8. So then divide it by x. We will get plus two x. That is two x square minus two x. Four x minus eight. Thus, here division by four is possible. We we'll get four x minus eight. So, like that, you are supposed to divide. Or if you know the identity, you can use that identity directly. So, what we will get then? Put this as put this limit x approaches two. As in the numerator, we will get x minus two. Then the dividing factor is x square plus two x plus four. In the numerator, then we will divide x minus two by x minus two. We will get one. 
into x minus k. So this is what we can do. After cancelling it, put the value of x as 2. So using limit, now we will not write here that limit x approach to 0. For x put 2, for x put 2, so in the denominator we are getting a total. Because it is 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. So that is fifth B part. Fifth C part is evaluate limit x square plus x plus 1 over 2x square minus 3x minus Limit x approaches infinity. Now when n x approaches infinity, take the highest power from the common from the numerator as well as from the denominator. Take highest power common from numerator as well as from a denominator. This can be written as limit x approaches infinity. Highest power is x square. Take it common. Means divide each term by x square. Divide each term by x square. So after dividing limit x approaches 0 or limit x approaches infinity by solving square square we can cancel 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 by x square in the denominator in the denominator 2x square x square x square x square we can cancel that is 2 minus 3 by x minus 4 by x square using element Now, no need to write x approaches infinity. Replace x by infinity equals 1 plus 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity square, 2, 3 by infinity, 4 by infinity square. Infinity in denominator leads to 0. 1 plus 0 plus 0, 2 minus 0 minus 0. Then it is what we do. Solve the equation 3x plus 4 by equals 7, 7x minus y equals 6 using Kramer's rule. Now how we can solve it by Kramer's rule? The given equations are 3x plus 4y equals 7 7x minus y equals 6 Write down A determinant Three. 
4 minus 1. Its value will come out to be minus 3 minus 28 minus 30. If it comes out to be 0, you can directly write no solution is possible. It's coming out to be minus 31. Then, it's not a matrix determinant. Determinant, not a matrix. Find out delta denoted by A determinant which value we are getting it as 30. A determinant denoted by delta is coming out to be minus 31. Write down delta x equals Replace this x entries, x column entries by the constant, by the right hand side constant terms, that is 7 and 6. Replace the x column by 7 and 6, 4 and minus 1. Solve it, minus 7, minus 24. Minus 30. Delta y. Replace the y column of a by constant terms are HS that is 3 and 7. Replace it by 7 and 6. Eighteen minus 49. minus 13. So therefore x delta x y delta delta x is minus 31 and delta is also minus 31 is the same as 1. y Delta y by delta. Delta y is minus 31. Delta is minus 31. So thus we are getting x is 1 and uh, y is 2. Then next one. Verify Kelly the Milton theorem for the matrix A equals 2 minus 1 minus 3 1. Now Kelly's Milton theorem is A minus lambda i is determinant equals 0. A, A is for the matrix. 2 minus 1 minus 1 